What is going on, YouTube? It's your host once again, Crazy Squid. And, um, since Mike, well, let me rephrase this. Before Mike left tonight, I, uh, had him help me with a little project. Because I was a little bit curious to see what he thought I should do with a little something that hasn't quite yet been finished yet on my channel. So, with Mike's helping and suggestions that I ended up listening to, I ended up figuring out how to do this. So, it's been a little while in the making, but I'll be fair on this. It was mostly because I was just dumb and didn't think about how I could train him or how I could make him good, I guess. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you the friend that we decided to uh, work on a little bit. And it is Governor. The old Governor I started working on way too fucking long ago. And I'll be honest, I, I played around with him a little bit after Mike left, making sure everybody, like, making sure he was actually good. Making sure he wasn't bad, making sure he, like, learned how to use the things that we did to him. And from what I can gather, he's, uh... He's kind of a dick. He's kind of a dick to fight. So, without any further ado, I'm gonna go as... You know what, I'll go Pikachu. Just because. Pikachu! I don't think he's fought me as Pikachu yet. At least, not that I remember. So, let's see how this goes. So, <clears throat> with Mike's help, we added custom moves to him, uh, not custom moves, custom, like, effects and things like that. So, in the meantime, he's gotten some equipment too, as you can see. He still has all his same old, like, move set and everything, but he's a little bit better, because now he actually has custom equipment. Oh, crap. I'm doing lower stock matches just so I can show you exactly what I mean. I'll go into probably another video better explaining this, but this is just kind of like a little surprise thing, because I was like... Actually, since Mike's here, I'll ask him some questions. Maybe he'll have some good ideas that I'll think about using as the freaking Revo. Maybe he'll help me, like, make him as good as I want him to be at the end. Since, you know, Pete's dead and Michael is gonna leave anyway, I figured I might as well have him check out. He actually used the bucket! Oh, nope, that's dead. But anyway, I figured I'd have him check him out to see if we could figure out, like, a good idea of things we could give him. So, the things we ended up giving him, I'll show at the end of the video. But I think, as of right now, he's not bad. Like, he's definitely using the thing you've obviously seen at this point, the explosive shield. Praise God, no. Oh, no. Please? Maybe something? Really? Yes? Yes. Oh god, yeah, I think... That's really close. Huh! 
Jesus! Huh? My nuggets! They're gone! Okay. So. Not bad. Not bad at all. He did 510 damage on me. Sorry, no, I did 510 damage on him, and he'd only died twice. Okay, I'm gonna do one more match. Do it as like the White Paladin of Justice. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you his stats. Because I think they're probably the stats I'm gonna end up saving. I'll be fair, I also fought him as like before, like three or four matches at five stocks, so he kinda knows like now. He kinda really well knows like. Holy shit! Oh my god, why? Come on. What the fuck? Oh, what the fuck? What in the hell was that? <laughs> what in the hell was that, man? Well, now I know what acid feels like. Really fucking weird. Holy crap. That fucking stuttered the hell out of it. Holy crap! Ow! Almost 300 damage. Actually, fairly even right now. Again, I don't think he's fully grasped, like, especially the counters or anything, because when I hit him with a counter, you got fucked. Holy crap. I was way too deep for that. I tried to go first, but like, I'll be fair. I was a little bit on the salty side. <laughs> so, again, as I said, thanks to the help with Mike, I decided to change a couple things. Like, I actually gave him stats for the first time ever. So, 
I gave him boosts. I didn't give him any speed, as you can probably notice, not even a little bit, just because I wanted to keep him a more or less neutral fighter, so I didn't want to do anything like too decreased or anything. I think if anything I might speed him up a little bit, like maybe reduce the attacker defense a little bit just to give him a little bit of speed so he's a little faster. But as of right now, I don't mind the way he is. He's actually pretty fucking good. So, yeah, let's make the Evo. So right now, these are his stats. He's got improved launching ability, improved escape ability, and perfect explosive perfect shield. He's at 40 extra attack and 80 extra defense. So, the whole reasoning behind this is because I had Mike fight him a couple times, like probably like 30 or so stocks out of a couple of different 5 stock matches. So, after that, we noticed that he likes launching people, like especially with like obviously the up smash and that little puff of air that comes out when he uses his, I think it's up air? Maybe? The one that launches you in the air, either way. Either way, uh, you noticed that, but we also noticed that because Mike was fighting him as Game & Watch, he had a little bit of an issue with getting out of grabs, so I tried the improved escapability thing, and even with Ike just now, the only reason that he didn't get out of a lot of my stuff is because I literally just grabbed him and threw him straight to the floor. So, a lot of that was just me just, again, being a dick abusive, just I want to get my combo started for the freaking down throw stuff with Ike. So... I'll give him a pass on that, because obviously improving capability doesn't mean shit if I just immediately grab you and rip you to the floor. So I'm going to give him a pass on that, but literally I fought him before as Donkey Kong and I could not hold on to him for a fucking life of me. It was horrible. I couldn't even touch him. It was like, oh look, I grabbed him once, and then he immediately broke out. So I mean, I think it depends, especially because he hasn't fought Ike that much. Donkey Kong he's fought a few times, especially because I've trained him through Donkey Kong. But, I forgot to give you guys a little update video about this because we literally did this like, I want to say 20 minutes ago. The only thing I did between Mike leaving and taking this video is taking my shower for the night. But, honestly, I think he's doing pretty good. I like the way he's turning out so far. I mean, I might change a couple things, like if the escapability thing becomes a little bit of an issue, I might change it for something that heals him, or maybe does more damage in the air, or maybe da more damage overall, like crit. Because, uh, let's be honest, crit's never a bad choice for enemy bow. Like, in general, unless it's like somebody that has already too much fucking damage to begin with, which in Smash, there's no such thing as too much damage. It's like, crit's like the one thing that you can use on literally any Mibo and it becomes a fucking monster and you're all set. But, again, this is just a work in progress kind of thing, so thank you everybody for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like. If you really like it and want to see more, maybe me finishing up Meatball at some point soon, hopefully. Uh, also, Terminus, I need to work on him. Fuck, there's, like a, there's a few Mibo that I need to finish up and work on more. But, either way, I will work on them before Smash Ultimate. Maybe not all finished before Smash Ultimate comes out, but I'll work on them before I start doing much in Smash Ultimate. I'm already going to try to unlock all the characters before I make a video, obviously, about Smash Ultimate. Unless I'm in, like, a cameo in Pete's or cameo in Mike's channel or something like that. But either way, uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.